Yeah. And behind this, if you're wearing it, the engine dies if you fall overboard. Mm -hmm. You can't restart it without plugging that back in. Okay. Now, that's also your off button. If you want to stop the engine, push and hold that for a few moments. Mm -hmm. Because it's fuel injected, there's no choke. It's basically just pull start the engine, make sure your key is on, and then your throttle. Okay. Your shifter is here. Reverse too. Vertical is neutral, backwards is reverse, forwards is forwards. Okay. The most critical instruction is this label right here. This side up. Yeah. So even though okay. you see these standoff pads, ignore them. Mm -hmm. That's just for shipping without the engine oil in it. Once the engine oil is in it, you can no longer lay it on that side. Okay. So okay. that's essentially it. Your fuel uh, hooks up here. Oh, okay. And the fuel hose is in here. One okay. side is unique for the fuel tank. The okay. other side. If I wanted to get a bigger fuel tank, you won't. No. You won't be able to burn through that in a day. No. No, I doubt you can nice. burn through that in a weekend. That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Four-stroke fuel injected outboards use very little gas. Nice. Yeah. Uh, this is your tilt release mechanism. So if you tilt the engine up on your transom, you have to pull that up and okay. then lift a little bit and then lower, and it will go all the way back down. Okay. That's in the lower position now. Nice. Your red knob here, this is your steering friction. So okay. it adds tension to your steering. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Then just underneath the cowling, I just lifted that latch off. Okay. And there's a hook in the front. Okay. You've got your oil fill, your dipstick to check the engine oil. Um, it's, again, fuel injected, so there's a computer Okay. Uh, there's not a carburetor bowl and all that as you'd normally have. Nice. So, as far as doing your own service, uh, refer to the owner's manual. Yeah. There, there's great instructions. Okay. Engine oil, 10W30, 10W40. Okay, in between that. Okay. Now, is it, uh, does it have to be a certain type of oil, like brand? Mm -hmm. Marine grade uh, synthetic blend. Okay. Suzuki does uh, label their own bottles. Okay. Uh, you can't use regular oil because there's already a synthetic blend in there, but you can yeah. use both synthetic or another blend. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I think again that's that's mentioned in the owner's manual not to use standard oil. Mm -hmm. Always use some form of blend as long as it's marine grade. Okay. Sounds good.